Hello folks, happy Friday. It's a nice Friday in the work week. I figured I'm gonna be having a whiskey anyway or two. So I thought maybe I'd do a little compare and contrast today about uh, some a couple of whiskeys I've been enjoying so far. And it'll be interesting to see having them side by side, what, what they're gonna taste like today. Uh, first one here is a to, is Tomatin. And uh, I've been enjoying this so far. It's a, it's a Highland skin, Single Malt Scotch Whiskey, uh, 18 years old. Um, it's, uh, and it's in Orla, I don't know how to pronounce this, Oloroso, Oloroso Sherry Casks is, I guess, the finish. Matured in Oak Casks and first fill Oloroso Sherry Butts, honey and soft oak flavors develop into, it says. <laughs> so anyways, um, and it says here, a hint of dark chocolate with a citrus bite before a sustained, sweet, and delicately dry finish. So I actually like this sound about right, actually. Uh, but anyways, I've really been enjoying this one. Uh, and the second one here we're going to compare is uh, Glen Goyne, 10 year. Uh, this one I've really been enjoying as well, Highland Single Malt Scotch. Uh, and it says here on the label, uh, here I'll give you a little close up of what this one is. And uh, it comes in a really cool orange kind of barrel as well. But anyways, not barrel, a uh, container. Um, but it says here on the label, fresh green apples, toffee, and a hint of nuttiness. This is the taste of distilling slower than anyone else in Scotland. Um, of barley, we dry by air, never peat. And of hand-selected sherry cask crafted from European and American oak. So... Um, so yeah, hey, that's uh, that's our two that we're gonna try today. Hope you guys are having a great Friday. Uh, you know, beginning of the weekend, like I said before, is, is is always the best time of the week, usually, isn't it? Okay, so I'm gonna smell this one first. Mm. You know, it just it smells kind of like very kind of sweet with almost caramel. Mm. Just a nice caramel, really, really nice. Uh, I don't know, you can smell that a long time. It's a pretty, pretty nice nose on that one. It's funny, the Glen Goyne beside it is much more, almost a, uh, you know, I can't really describe that. It's almost got that, sometimes I find Scotch will have almost a dirty shoe <laughs> smell to it. That's got a little bit of that, but in a good way. I really like the Glen Goyne, but very different noses. This is much sweeter, and this is much more, can't quite describe what that is. But, you know, I'm still developing my nose, obviously, for for these things. Uh, I'm still quite new to drinking whiskey. I've only been drinking whiskey for about six months, so but I've gotten into it quite a bit and enjoying it. So, anyways, we're, let's try the the, the tomato first here. Yeah, just a nice, sweet, kind of kind of a lightness to it. it. Lightness to it in a really nice way. Kind of sweet and light is probably my first two ways I would describe that one. This one, this one kind of hits you a little earlier on, like it kind of just has a bit more of a pop earlier on for sure. A little bit of a, you know, you know, I made a mistake, this is a rookie mistake, clearly. I made a mistake of brushing my teeth before this video. So that, it's kind of ruining my, my, my palate here a little bit. But uh, this one definitely hits a little quicker and just sort of trails off and uh, definitely different flavor, but but uh, hmm, I'm gonna go back and forth here again a little bit, just for a second. You know, I'm gonna clear my palate here a little bit in the middle. Mm -hmm. so let's try that again. Oh, yeah, see the nose on this tomato is just, sit here and smell it for a while, it's really nice. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's just got a really nice flowing kind of sweet nature to it, but it's light. Boy, this is, and this is what I've noticed with this bottle. If you have a, a drum or two mm -hmm. in it, you, you just want to kind of keep going and just settle into it. It's a really, really nice, relaxing. The Glen Goyne, let's try this one again. I'm going to clear my cup in the middle here real quick. Oh, yeah. You know, this is almost more of a fruity, just a real fruity kind of kick to it is also is starting to come out here. And I see green apples and toffee and maybe, maybe that is what I'm tasting. Interesting. You know, it's funny, these two beside each other, this just almost has more of a caramel feel to it, I might say. Does it say caramel here? It says, well, the sherry butts and honey and soft oak. Honey, so maybe that's dark chocolate. Hmm. I'm almost getting a caramel kind of from this, which is interesting. And it's funny, beside each other, this always was sort of sweet to me, but it's a very different kind of sweet between the two. This is, uh, you know, right now in this tasting, I'm liking this one more than this one right now, but I really do like this one I have. You know, I'm going to add a little bit of water into each of these, just a little dash of water and see what that does to it. Dash of water to that one. You know, it almost, it almost makes it a little sweeter, and this one makes it a little bit more of a punch to it, surprisingly. It brings out more flavors. It, it almost brings out some of the spice in this one, putting a little bit of water in it, I would say. It's a little hotter now. It wasn't hot at all before in terms of spice, and now all of a sudden, a little more of a burn there. It's really interesting. That's really good. I really like that addition. Let's try a little water in the, in the Glen Goyne. Yeah, it's a touch more there. There we go. Let's see what it does to this, this one. Okay, let me nose out the nose a little bit. Hmm. You know what? That one's. I feel like it had a little bit of the same effect for this one too. Makes it a little bit hotter. Not as much as this one as a change, but this is the first time with a testing that I've actually added water in. Uh, usually I don't do that, don't bother, but I just was kind of interested in trying that this time. And boy, that tomato, it really, really brought out something. It really made a lot of different changes to it. So anyways, though, I think I'm really enjoying this one today compared to this one. Uh, they're both really good scotches, but I really like this one today. Um, anyways, just thought I'd share it with you guys. Uh, have a great Friday. Have one for yourself. And we'll see you again soon.